Oh, that's pretty bird. It's crazy if people will jump in and be extras in Dumb and Dumber because of the Farrelly's. The Farrelly's are just so cool and funny, like naturally funny guys. We have a few cameos in this movie from friends and very big names come in and they play little small roles. Throughout the whole movie, you might not identify the person, but when you see the credits and go back and check it out, uh, you're gonna be in for a nice surprise. <laughs> Whoa! Is that grown up Billy in 4C? Hey, my name is Brady Bloom, and I am the infamous Billy in 4C. He's got the best rare bird collection in Roadie. They found me on Facebook. Casting sent me a Facebook message. Hey, Billy! At first, I thought that somebody was pulling my leg. Are you crazy? But once they gave me a little bit of proof. I hear you got a lot of flocking birds. I've just been stoked. Ding, ding, I'm home. I had no clue how much those two lines that I had were going to follow me the rest of my life. Pretty bird. I had people recognize me when I was younger, but now they don't recognize me. But when they find out that I'm the bird kid, basically, they freak out. Speak to me, Siskel. Put your butt in my face. <laughs> the camera. I've had to take hundreds, probably thousands of pictures and had to say the words pretty bird multiple thousands of times. Never gets old to me, though. That's a wrap on Billy and Forsey. What's up? This is Swiss Beats. Today, I did one of the best roles I can ever do. I got my balls ripped off by Jim Carrey. Looking for these? <laughs> Swiss Beats was one of the people we've used as a sounding board. He said, what do you think about Dumb and Dumber, a sequel? It, it was a showstopper. He was like, oh, it's my favorite movie of all time. If you guys make that movie, I have to at least be able to visit the set, you know? <laughs> This is my first acting role, and it don't get no crazier than this. I'm from the original Dumb and Dumber prank school. And I was always a class clown because of them. I used to get in trouble from doing anything, <laughs> fire my shoe bill. And so to be here is like, it's amazing. You smell so good. <laughs> <laughs> the music culture where I come from, for me to do this role, nobody would expect me being a rough rider to be a ninja that's getting his ripped off. <laughs> as far as the street cred, I'm not really looking for it. As far as the dad cool points, I'm looking for that. For my kids to see this movie and be able to connect me with something that's cool and positive, to me, that's, that's the big payoff. I'm Swiss Beats, <laughs> and I'm dumb. Well, my name is Eric Schmidt, and I'm the executive chairman of Google. Oh, come on. Don't you know who I am? Well, I wanted to be part of another cult classic. And what I like about this movie group is the energy and the enthusiasm. I've never seen a group of people this excited about making something. The moment I came in, it's boom. You know, can we do this? Can we do that? Building that esprit de corps, that energy, you get more out of people. It's a great model of leadership. Jeff and Jim. They look exactly like they did 15 years ago. They'd say in my ear as I was being directed by the director, do something different. Try this, try that. I don't like this, and so forth. And they're driving me crazy while they're shooting me. You want more? Yeah. Okay. We've, yeah, more. We've heard that on several occasions. Okay. Okay. I'm Eric Schmidt, and I'm dumb, and sometimes dumber. We had a special guest today, one of our old favorites came to visit. He played Ice Pick, a meth cook that Harry has been rooming with since Lloyd was at the mental institution. But it was a very small part. But you know, I think it was uh, Stanley Slavsky who said, there are no small roles, there are only small actors, right? We love Bill, so called him up and asked him if he'd come down and play this. And he said, sure, I'll do it. How's it going, Ice Pick? Boy, he came in and made us laugh, just, just being in the background doing stuff. Greatest day of my life, really. Best day ever. Top of the world, Ma. There was nothing scripted for him, really. He was just, he was a meth cook, like, you know, we were kind of spoofing uh, Breaking Bad. Pick cooks up a rock candy that'll make you dizzy. Folks come from all over the city to buy it. I know, he just makes it funny just walking around that it's Bill Murray and there's something about him. He can do anything to make it funny. What an energy boost. You know, for the crew and for the set to have Bill around. Wonderful. Uh, that's a wrap on Bill Murray. Just having him was a, was a great treat for Pete and myself.